they want me to say anything. Dang, this young loud. Cal, after kind of a interesting first half, you really came out in the second half, got the double double. Let's talk about your effort tonight. Uh, what what motivated you to come on the way you did in the second half? Um, nothing. Just at halftime when we had our speech, he kind of told me that I was lacking effort today and um, to pick myself up. So that's what I did in the second corner, and I just gave gave it my all. Uh, Asia, how does it feel to be in sole first place in the ACC after tonight? Feels great. Um, just found that out, so I mean, it's a lot of basketball left, so I mean, it's cool, but still got plenty more games left. What was working, um, Asia, for you especially? You know, you scored the first 10 points um, uh, for Louisville. What was working for you uh, in particular, and then team wise as well, to get out, go up 18 to 4 against a quality opponent like Syracuse? Well, I think we did a great job of moving the ball and um, defensive uh, stops. We got a lot of stops out there. And, I'm, I mean, our ball movement in the first quarter was great. So um, that's how we were able to get those shots and get those quick shots. So, I mean, we got a, we got some great shots out there. They came in here as a team that basically takes half their shots from three-point range. It, you had more three-point attempts than them. Just kind of reflect on that a little bit, if you would, each one of you. I mean, it's just our hard work paying off, you know. A lot of our players are staying in the gym, working on that three ball, and so it's it's paying off. And, you know, as we go out this – go out go throughout this conference play I mean there are going to be a lot of teams playing us zone trying to force us to sh shoot that three so I mean our players are sh shooting the ball well so it's pretty good to add on to what Asia said on the defensive end I think that was just a scouting report that they are such good three-point shooters to get up on them early in that first half um seven um it was a pretty balanced attack. I think there were seven players with at least six points each. You know, there were crisp passes, uh, even out rebounding Syracuse and getting more offensive rebounds than they than they got defensive rebounds. Despite you guys shooting fifty percent, was that about as good a half as as you all have played this season? Uh, I mean, I can't really dictate that right now. I mean, I really don't know, but I mean, it was great basketball out there. Um, the first half was great you know I think we played overall a great game so um, we just got to continue to build off this game Coach Walls has been commenting that you all need to pass the ball a lot more effectively and you doubled the number of assists tonight that mm -hmm. Syracuse had so obviously that's working just talk about some of the things you saw as you in, in, in creating exist and passing the ball well you yeah. I mean, it goes back to how quickly we moved the ball throughout the game. Um, we found each other on the court, and uh, we knocked down some great shots. Um, so, I mean, that's all we have to do. There are going to be a lot of teams or playing zone and things like that, so we have to just move the ball faster. You guys like the uh, uniforms that uh, were uh, picked off for the game? I like them. I think they're pretty cool. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I like the little, uh, the yeah, the black zip-up shirt. That was pretty cool. Put your hood on like you're a boxer, like I'm Floyd. That's my guy. I like it. Yeah, I was asking Q in his time up here, uh, you all stopped and talked a little bit after the game. He said that he was, told, you told him that he was bragging you didn't put up 50 on him. What did he actually He said what now? He, he said that uh, you were bragging that you didn't put up 50 on him. <laughs> No, that's my guy. He's great people. He's a great coach, man. And um, Q, he's he's a great guy. So I'm really impressed with how he always keeps his team up and he gets the best out of them. I mean, he has some great guards. He has a great team, too. So I'm just re really impressed with him. Coach also talks a little bit about the three-game sequence that started tonight, how important that is to it with, the, with Miami winning tonight. Just how, how important is this for you all as you go into it? I think it's very important. I mean, um, just how, like, we came out. Because this three-game stretch was actually very hard. First, we had UConn, and then we couldn't get too hype about that. We had to stay humble, and then we had Clemson. And now we have this game. They're all three good good games that we could have possibly lost if we overthought it. Yeah. I mean, this whole conference is a great 
it's a great league where um, anybody can lose on any night. Mm -hmm. So as you see with Notre Dame's uh, game, so. I mean, we, there's some great teams in our league, and it's fun. It's fun to play. It's fun to play against great teams who can really, really, really play. So each game, you can't take them for, for granted. So you just got to come out and play hard and play strong.